Good morning children. I hope you all are safe at your places. This is Jyoti Nahar representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota and I will be taking class 5 and the chapter that we are going to take today is chapter number 9 the nervous system and we have already done the video of chapter 9. Now we are going to discuss the question answers and book work of chapter 9 that is nervous system. So let us start students. First we are going to do the book work. We are going to discuss the book work that is of chapter number 9 the nervous system. Now the first question in the book work is take the correct answer. In this you have four options you have, you have to take the correct one. The first one here is which of the following organ systems helps us to learn and think? In this we have the correct option that is the organ system which helps us to learn and thinking, learning, reasoning, everything that is done by the nervous system. All our activities of our body they are controlled by the nervous system. Second one which of the following organs helps us to taste? So children you all know the sense organ which is responsible for the taste in our body is tongue. Third one which of the following is the largest part of the human brain? Children you all know that human brain it has three parts the cerebrum, cerebellum and the medulla. So out of these three the largest part of our brain is cerebrum. So this is the correct answer that you are going to tick. The third fourth one optic nerve carries messages from the eyes children when we discussed eyes I told you that the sensory nerves which connect the eyes to the brain are called the optic nerves. So correct answer for the optic nerves which carries the message to the brain they connect the eyes to the brain. Next one which part of the brain helps in maintaining the balance of our body? In, out of the three parts of the brain the cerebrum, cerebellum and the medulla the cerebellum is responsible for maintaining the balance of our body. So correct answer that you are going to take here is cerebellum. So our next exercise that is fill in the blanks with the correct words. You are given the words in the box you need to pick them up the correct pick the correct word from this box and place it in the blank provided. The first one dash is the control center of our body. Children you all know that the brain it is called the control center of our body. It is controlling all the activities of our body, all the functions of our body, all the systems of our body they are controlled by the brain. Second one medulla controls involuntary actions like breathing and digestion. All our involuntary actions like your breathing, swallowing, digestion, blinking of eyes all these are involuntary actions they go on their own. So these involuntary actions they are controlled by medulla. Then reflex actions are controlled by the spinal cord. Reflex actions children you all know these are the spontaneous reactions that are given to an event and these re, uh, reflex actions they are controlled by the spinal cord. They take a shortcut before going to the brain the spinal cord gives the instant reaction to the events. Then the ear has dash parts. How many parts does the ear has? It has three parts that is the outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. So these are the three parts of the ear. Then the surface of the tongue it has taste buds. You all know children there are four taste buds on our tongue salty, sour, sweet and bitter. These are the four taste buds that are present on our tongue. So the surface of the tongue has many taste buds. Now we have the C question that is named the following. 
the first one the part of nervous system which acts like telephone wire the part of the nervous system it has three parts nervous system has three parts the brain the spinal cord and the nerves out of these the nerves they act like telephone wires they take the message to the brain and from the brain to the different parts of the body then the part of the brain which helps in thinking learning and reasoning the part which is the largest part of our brain that is cerebrum and this cerebrum is responsible for our thinking learning problem solving all these things they come out from the cerebrum then one example of reflex action reflex action means spontaneous reaction that is watering of mouth this is an example of reflex actions the other examples of reflex actions are you quickly uh, pull you back your hand when you touch something hot or when you are pricked by a thorn what happens you quickly withdraw your hand so this is again an example of reflex action so you are going to write here watering of mouth then the colored part of the eye the colored part of our eye is called the iris which is of different color in different people it may be black blue or green then the organ which helps us to breathe and smell this is the sense organ which helps us to breathe and smell that is nose now let's do you have a clue and you have to solve this crossword puzzle according to the hints that are given now the first is first we are going to fill up the across words means we will fill up is horizontally first one they help us to see that is eyes an organ protected by the skull the skull protects the brain so we are going to write brain in number 2 fifth one it helps to taste just now we have done that the tongue helps us to taste so we are going to write tongue on number 5 number 6 an organ protected by the backbone the organ which is protected by the backbone that is the spinal cord we are going to write on number 6 now we are going to fill the horizontal words sorry the vertical words first one they help us to hear the sense organ which helps us to hear is ears so we are going to write one or uh, ears on one third one it helps in smelling again the third one with third sense organ which helps us in smelling is nose we are going to write nose on number 3 vertically fourth one a part of eye that is we are yes, r is written here so the part of the eye which starts from r is retina the number 4 will be retina then we have the parts of the brain you have to label the three parts of the brain the first one that is the largest part of the brain is cerebrum then below the cerebrum we have cerebellum and along with this we have underneath that is below the cerebellum we have medulla or it is also called the brain stem now children we are going to discuss the copy work let us first take up the definitions the important definitions of this chapter the first one reflex action now what is a reflex action the automatic action produced in response to an event like children when you are pricked by a thorn what do you do you immediately withdraw your hand so this is an example of reflex action means the automatic action which is given in response to an event when you touch something very hot you immediately pull back your hand so this is the immediate action reaction which is given by the spinal cord it doesn't involve brain in it it needs quick reactions so the spinal cord gives the reaction so reflex actions they are all controlled by spinal cord and the example that we are going to write here is watering of mouth then second definition is nervous system what is nervous system it is the organ system that controls all other body systems all the other body systems like your digestive system circulatory system respiratory system all these systems 
and the sense organs all our five sense organs they are controlled by the nervous system and it has three parts that is the brain spinal cord and nerves then answer the following questions first question we have what are the different parts of the nervous system just now we have discussed the nervous system it is made up of brain spinal cord and nerves these are the three parts of the nervous system second question that we have here what protects the brain and spinal cord now you all know children this we have done in chapter 8 also the skeletal system that the brain it is protected by the bony skull and spinal cord it is protected by the backbone third question here write two ways in which you can take care of your eyes skin and ears these are our three sense organs and how do we take care of these three sense organs we are going to take up one by one first we are going to take up eyes how we can take care of our eyes by washing our eyes regularly with clean water at least twice a day we should use clean water to wash our eyes sitting 6 feet away from the television children while you are watching television you should always maintain a proper distance from the television it must be approximately 6 feet or you can say about 2 meters then how we can take care of our skin bathing with soap and clean water take a regular bath by taking regular bath you can take care of your skin wearing clean and dry clothes always try wearing clean and dry clothes to avoid skin problems then we have ears how we can take care of our ears by keeping the ears clean and dry using a clean and dry cloth by cleaning the ears by with a clean and dry cloth we should always we can always maintain the ears proper now not cleaning the ears with sharp objects never insert sharp objects like pins and pens into the ears they may damage the ears so we should never use sharp objects to clean our ears instead we can use earbuds now fourth question which is the largest part of the human brain the largest part of the human brain among the cerebellum cerebrum and the brain stem the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain second part what are its functions the functions of cerebrum it controls our sense organs and it is responsible for thinking learning logical reasoning all the thinking prob problem solving everything is controlled by the cerebrum this is cerebrum is responsible for the learning thinking reasoning all these activities are carried out by cerebrum now the next last that is name the different types of nerves in our body children we have discussed three types of nerves in our body that is sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves now what write their functions we have the second part that is we have to write the functions of each one so sensory nerves what is the function of sensory nerves they carry messages from the sense organs to the brain like your optic nerves it carries the message from eyes to the brain similarly auditory nerves they carry the message from the ears to the brain so they are all sensory nerves because they carry the messages from the sense organs to the brain or the spinal cord the second type of nerves that we have is motor nerves and these motor nerves they carry the messages from brain or spinal cord to the muscles organs or glands when the sensory nerves they take the messages to the brain or spinal cord in each headly the brain or the spinal cord it gives back the messages to the muscles organs and glands to react back then we have the third type of nerves that is called the mixed nerves and these mixed nerves they do both the functions they carry the messages to the brain and from the brain so they are responsible for doing both the work that is sensory 
that is the sensory nerves and the motor nerves both the functions are carried out by the mixed nerves. So, this was all about our book work and copy work children. I hope you have uh, seen or you have gone through the video explanatory video. Now you are going to do the book work and copy work very neatly and in very beautiful handwriting in your books and copies. Thank you children.